we go. What is that? Little bluegill. We're gonna do a little exploration, fishing, scouting, panfish, bass fish, doing everything today. Um, I got a tournament coming up on this lake. Tournament will be in five days. So I just wanted to get out and then scout a little bit. See what I can come across. I've also heard that this little, this little flat area is loaded with panfish and it sure is. I already got a blue gun. There's been a lot of little, a lot of little bites. Um, I think I saw some better bluegill in here too, but I'm going to hit the creek and we're going to go upstream, I think, maybe downstream, but probably upstream searching for bass and also whatever else we come across. There it is. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a bluegill. It's a good bluegill. Getting a little bit of wind. I'm going to get over there. We're going to get out over there in the creek channel here in a minute. But I think there's a lot of panfish. It's like a little flat area right now. It's just real shallow, but a lot of little stuff in here looks like. Yep, there's a lot of fish in here. What is that? Oh, we may not have to leave. We may not leave for a little bit. Hmm. Crappie. Cut the stripe down it, the magnolia. Pretty bluegill. Well, there is a lot of panfish in here. Man, there's a lot of panfish in this little area. Oh, oh, I thought it was a bigger one. Well, I'm glad I brought my ultralight rod with my little small lures. I got a 164th ounce jig head. Hey, we got one. Okay, there's some fish up here. First bass we caught, and it's a little one. I think I've had a couple hits. This creek kind of known for a lot of spotted bass. That was a large mouth, but I've had two hits, and I think we're from spotted bass. And the thing is, they just don't get very big. They're usually 11, 12, 13 inches. guys are pretty feisty so there is fish up in here not tons of them but I know there's some bass some bass here 13 13 and a half it's crazy how clear this water is Man, these guys are not big, but they're strong. Well, that's the biggest one today. It's got some black spots on him. Biggest one, and he's the furthest up that I've gone. Yeah, about a 14 incher. This water's so clear, it's like a little, it's a, it's a creek channel, so like, I'm just kind of casting out in the middle a lot of times too, because that's where the deepest spot is.
Oh, where'd that guy come from? I was reeling in and caught him. Oh, pretty guy. What a nice body bass. On this rock ledge over here. Come here. Come here. Pretty little guy there. He's about 12 and a half. No way. <laughs> That's what the mag draft would get you right there. 12, 13 inches. These Kentucky spots are so aggressive. All spots are, but Alabama and Kentucky's. Man, he's thick though. Well, I'm on my way back down. I only, I got turned around up there by another couple hundred yards. This creek's also affected by the lake. So when they have the lake levels down for the winter, this creek level's low. Pretty good sized creek to us. I've been seeing a ton of fish and a bunch of small bass. So I know there's a lot of little bass in here, but I don't know if there's anything bigger Bass. Well, yeah, another 12, 13 incher. Definitely plenty of these guys in here. Got a little swim bait on there. I was kind of twitching it and he smoked it. Brother. There we go. These guys were about 16, 17 inches. Man, I'd be excited from a tournament. But for fishing for fun, I don't mind. They're pretty good fish. Man, these guys are chunky. They're, uh, there's a bunch of them in here. Just thick, chunky. 12 inch and a half, 12 inch and a half years. Another one, there's so many of these in here. It's uh, actually quite a, quite a lot of bass but i'm working my way back up no there's just chunky 12 incher just good healthy small bass those big ones gotta be pushed in here soon Got a decent fish. And it was down closer to the lake. Look at him. He is, he is nice. Or he's built right. He's, probably, he's not real long. But he's just pretty thick. Oh. Only 13 and a half. The way his body's shaved, I thought he was going to be about 15 inches. It definitely seems to be that time to be getting out and scouting around if you've kind of been waiting a lot of these streams i i really wait till spring to kind of go up in them because a lot of the fish kind of move in and out and of course the water is pretty cold where the water might be warmer in the lakes but you know they're colder in these streams i didn't get anything big but i caught a lot of fish there was a lot of bites for the three hours i probably was out here if that 
I did go really slow fishing, um, and I didn't get anything on like moving baits other than one on the mag draft, but I threw spinner bait, chatter bait, um, really everything on a yum dinger. <coughs> they were in there and they were, they were eating it pretty good. Well, hope to be doing a lot of uh, more river floats and stuff right around the corner. I can't wait to kind of get into that. I like to get it, I like to let it get a little bit warm in case you get splashed or you get a little wet. You're not that uncomfortable. And also I kind of want those fish to be hungry and not just really, really slow where you can kind of move and cast and catch them. So it's getting, it's about that time. If, if people have already been out there and there probably already is some people already out there um, in them, catching them in the skinny rivers and stuff. And I'm, uh, I'll be doing a lot of that soon. Plus just, you know, exploring these streams that come out of the lake and get real small. Um, those fish are moving up in there. Well, hello, welcome to another kayak tournament. This is the night before. I'm gonna be signing up for three tournaments going on at the same time tomorrow on Lake Chickamauga. I got all my gear laid out, organizing, which is the best part of kayak tournaments, just to get everything organized the night before, um, imagining all the fish you're gonna catch, imagining which lure is gonna work, although you never really know what's gonna happen. Now this one is gonna be different, uh, and I'll try to explain a little bit to you um, right before we, you know, head get to tomorrow and get on the water. I spent seventy-five dollars for a Bass Nation tournament, forty dollars for our local ten cat, and then I'm I'm about to spend one hundred and thirty for a native uh, big bass power hour tournament. They're gonna pay out a thousand dollars for the biggest bass every hour. Um, they're giving away a kayak. All these are paying out, I think, ten percent. You know, and there's there's one I signed up has 40 something, one has 80 something, one has 140 or something right now. So there's gonna be a lot of kayak anglers. There's a boat tournament going on also. One's five limit, one's a three limit fit, fish tournament, and then one's unlimited. So one of them has a minimum of 12 inches, one has a minimum of 14 inches. There's a lot going on. I'm about to get signed up. I gotta print something off for my ID, but um, I, I think I can find some fish. I don't know if I'm gonna catch big fish. Like the, I did pre-fish a few days ago, was catching a bunch of small ones. I have no idea who's gonna be at the ramps. I might even move throughout the day. I might pick a couple places, but I'm excited. So I just wanna give this intro because there's a lot going on in this kayak tournament and hopefully there's a lot of fish caught and I'll, I'll be uploading hopefully a lot of fish and um, we'll see how it all pans out. Well, there's a little bit of a setback as far as video making. I brought the rods, brought the net. I got the light that I have to have back there because it's just still getting light. I'm just about 30 minutes late, seven o'clock right now. So everything's good there, but I brought, I forgot my main cameras. I left them laying in the, in the bedroom, just laying, getting charged up. So I don't have my back camera. I don't have my front camera. The only th I had this one, this is just my backup and it was just in my tote. So I'm not so sure how we're gonna film today, but we'll, we're gonna give a little updates. Hopefully this will show up some and I'll kind of give you a little recaps and updates whenever we catch fish. So I don't have a ton of confidence in catching big fish up here, but, um, but that, that can change quickly. I've been up here before and it, sometimes it can get really good. Oh, we got one pretty quick. It's not a big one. Let's see what he looks like. Also, I did fix my net for everyone that was wondering. Got one on a chatterbait. Little guy, it's kind of what I was expecting up here, but I don't even know if he's gonna be 12. Well, yeah, he's not 14, but he is 13. I really need bigger ones, but we'll start by getting them all. Thirteen and a half. 
Okay, here, little beaver. Or is it a musker? That's a, maybe a musker. What are you doing? Yeah, it's a little muskrat. We got a real skinny tail. There's a bass. Not real big. Oh, he might be over 14 now. It's not bad. He's really thick. Number two. Yeah, I think he's gonna be over 14. Look how chunky he is. It's not very long though. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna be my first over 14. I can actually upload for the the tournament. Oh 14 and a half. Hold still. Get that picture. Check it. 14 and a half. Oh, thank you. So I fished this creek. And, um, I kayaked up in here and I haven't made the video yet, but <clears throat> the video should already be out by now. But um, I caught a I caught a bunch of fish. I don't remember catching one that was over 14, but um, I'm hoping that some have moved up in here. Plus, we're gonna fish here longer today than I did pre-fishing. Is that a fish? I don't know if that's a fish, that's a huge fish. Or am I just got a stick? Oh, I'd say it wasn't fighting back, but it felt weird. It was coming in, but it wasn't fighting back. I was like, what? Just a stick. Otter just popped out of the water and went into the hole right there. Hmm. Well, this isn't exactly going as planned. Um, when I got here this morning, I thought it would be easy to catch 12 and 13 inch bass. Thought I'd catch plenty of them, get a limit real quick. Well, it's not the case. Things have totally changed since when I fished two, three days ago. Like, it's I was seeing fish everywhere. Um, I was just like going over top of different panfish, bass. I was catching a lot of them. Caught 10, 12, easy. It's just not the same. So I'm gonna work my way out of the creek, and we may make a move or just keep working downstream. Not as good as I hoped. Hey. I don't know if he's going to be big enough. Hopefully he's at least 12. <clears throat> All right, here's a 12 and a quarter on a yum dinger and just working my way back down the creek. And just a little while ago, I caught a 14 incher. I didn't have the camera on, but I, so that's my fourth total fish. I'm eating a piece of pizza and reeled up my line. I see a fish bite at it. 
let it drop and eats it. I don't know if he's gonna be 12. Nope. It's like 11 and a half. Okay, this was crazy. I just caught a yellow perch, but there was a big old bass that followed this bait up. Southern bass, there, there was a big bass. It could be anywhere. It could be anywhere. I just can't figure out how to get them to bite. Got another yellow perch. Well, there's definitely some fish feeding here. I gotta get a bass though. Man, that's a big one too. On the underspin. Maybe I'll just fish just fan cast around here for the next hour. Well, I got, we ain't got a lot left. One o'clock. An hour and 25 minutes to go. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I think I got a good one. Don't stand, don't yes! Yes, we got our keeper. Yes, I just kept on grinding. Just wanted to get that fifth keeper. I started throwing the little fritz, uh, just kind of covering from water. And I fished that bank over there, and I, I noticed over here on the other side of the bank that there's a bunch of stumps over here too. So I caught a, uh, another yellow perch a minute ago. Then we've got our fifth bass and it's our biggest one. Nothing nothing that's gonna help us out a ton in the tournament, but getting that fifth keeper just makes me feel better. At least I got five. Got mouth closed, 15 and a half inches. Hold still. Man, that's our best one today. And Took us all day to get five, but there he is. <clears throat> all right, since that was our biggest one, I've got it uploaded to all three tournaments. It is uh, 145, we got 45 minutes to go. We could get on rhythm, catch several more. If not, I'm happy that I got my fifth one. And that's what, uh, that, was, that was the main goal today. I got a fish. I couldn't get one in here earlier. It's probably too small. Oh, too late anyways. Good thing he wasn't a big one. Alarm goes off right when I catch this guy. All right, tournament's over. And the tournament's over. So how did we do? Well, not where I'd hope to do. I'll show the scores in a minute. Um, that's something about spring fishing. It'll fool you really quick. The bite can go off and on in an instant, it seems like. Um, the the pre-fishing earlier, the first part of this video, it had been warm for like two days in a row, 60s and 70s. Then right before the tournament, like it dropped to the, like the 30s and it rained all day one day. Um, then it wasn't very warm. The sun never came out the tournament day. For all the people fishing, most people didn't catch five fish, but there were several guys that caught some really big ones um, where I just didn't, I couldn't come across any bigger fish and I thought I'd be able to find some in there, but there was a lot of other anglers. There was probably five or six anglers in the area and then several others outside where I, I, might, I just decided not to go. So I decided I'd combine those two videos because that's how fast things to change. 
one one day I fish three hours and I catch, you know, ten fish, and next day I fish eight hours and I can't, I, I barely caught five um, bass. So it it can go back and forth really fast, but springtime is on its way. As far as her finishing the tournaments, I was just a mediocre finish. I got uh, 31st out of 133 anglers, which were scored by how many fish you caught over 14. I had three and got 31st out of 130. So it shows you not a lot of people were, were catching a lot of big fish. In the uh, smaller tournament, I got 16th out of 47. That was my best three. And in the five fish limit tournament, I got 25th out of 89. So it, it's not terrible, but it's like, I just, I want to be up in that 10th, you know, around that 10th spot where I'm, I'm just outside of it. So, um, this is my last tournament before my, um, big two day, uh, national event and, um, in Oklahoma. And, and in that one, if I, if I could get, you know, 25th out of 89, that, that would actually be really good. Cause all those guys are really good, but I'm, I'm really going for that like top 10%. So um, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I can get on some fish there. Thanks for watching.